So when you're trying to get a girl re-attracted to you, when you're trying to bring back an ex or turn a female friend into your girlfriend, and you wanna use the no contact technique, what happens if you see her at work or around your social circle and you can't ignore her? What happens if she's continually messaging you and you, you say, how do, I, how do I respond the right way? Well, what Chris and I are gonna talk about in this video are three ways to make no contact way more effective at re-sparking attraction with a woman. Hey, I'm Bobby Rio, and I'm here with Chris Anderson. What's up, guys? And Chris and I have done a lot of coaching sessions, and a lot of guys have been asking us this question about no contact, right? We all we all know this this yeah. term and, and 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 whatnot when it comes to kind of getting a woman back. Yeah, it's true. Um, you see it everywhere. No contact, and at least as I understand it, it's pretty strict. No contact. They make that very clear. Do not contact her at all. And guys, guys are loving this, right? They're thinking this is going to work. I'm not going to contact her. I'm going to disappear. We're going to look at a few subtleties today. We're going to look at three ways to do it slightly different while keeping the spirit of what you're doing alive. And it's going to be a lot more powerful, a lot more effective. Yep. Yeah. So the first thing I want to talk about today, this is the first one. And I think here's where a lot of guys go wrong, especially clients we work with. They're excited to start the no contact, but they start it a little bit too early. So I'll give you an example. They've liked a girl for a while, they kind of make their move or confess their feelings and they get the friend zone speech. They're hurt. The girl's telling them, you know, you make me uncomfortable, I don't want you near me, don't give me gifts and all, you know, they get the works, they're upset, right? Yeah, sometimes it's even <laughs> subtler, right? Sometimes right. she's just she's just giving you the, you know, the, the less enthusiastic answers and she's always right. busy and you're like, you can sense that something's wrong, but you don't even exactly, know. Exactly, exactly. So there's a lot of things you could get. The point is you're upset and you're sad. So you're thinking, no contact? I wanna go into this right away. Chris, when do we start? Let's start today. Hold up, not so fast. If you start the, the no contact right after something bad happens, what happens is the girl thinks, oh, he must have disappeared because he's upset. Oh, he's up. He's so sad. He's probably in his room crying. That's what she thinks when you disappear right away. So what we counsel is when something bad happens, like a friend zone speech or things don't go your way, wait a couple days, wait seven to 10 days. When you see her act like everything's normal. If she texts you, text like you normally would. But once those couple of days pass, boom, then you go into the no contact and she doesn't suspect that you're angry or upset or it's because you got a friend zone type of speech. Yeah. I, I get this a lot with clients, right? Because we teach something called, we call it the blackout. And we say, you know, you got to do the blackout. And what this is, is, is a period where you're sort of resetting her impression. You're, you're giving yourself some space to kind of get back to that break even point with her. Because a lot of times you're in this position in the first place because you made some mistakes, right? You came on too strong. You, you were a little bit needy. You were too much of a nice guy. And now you have to you have to change her opinion. And as Chris said, well, what happens though is that if, if you flat out ignore her, right? Because I get, we get questions like this from guys who work with a woman. And if all of a sudden she's like, you know, she tells some girl at work, goes, hey, you know, I, it's kind of weird. We work together. I, why don't we just stay friends? And then the next day at work or two days later <laughs> at work, you're just like ignoring her. Well, to her, that makes you seem like you're angry. And if you're angry, it defeats the whole purpose, right? And, and this goes for an ex-girlfriend too, right? A lot of guys use the no contact on an ex-girlfriend. Well, if your ex-girlfriend thinks you're angry at her, oh, he's not contacting me because he's hurt, he's upset, he's angry. Well, then she knows she still has that control over you. She knows like, oh, this guy's still really so into me that he's angry and he's not contacting me, right. he's ignoring me. And when you're doing that, it kind of like, she's like, all right, I've got him. I, like, I know I have him. And that defeats a lot of the purpose of the no contact, which, you know, from the way Chris and I teach it is to use it to show that, hey, maybe you're not this nice, needy guy that she, she thinks. Yeah. If you got the wrong frame right from the beginning, every day that goes by, it's he's angry. He said, he's angry. He said, so you're sitting home thinking, yes, no contact days are going by. I'm more attractive, but she's thinking just the opposite. So slight little tweak there. Don't rush into it. Make sure everything's cool, everything's fine, then you go into the no contact. And it, it'll take some discipline because you'll be kind of upset at the time. Yeah, so you want to fade into the no contact. Now, the second mistake guys make with no contact is similar to what Chris um, hinted at, right? They, they think it's as hard and fast, 
I've got to completely ignore her. I get clients like this, well, Bobby, I'm going to see her out at this social event. Should I just ignore her? And I go, I go if you just blatantly ignore her, it, again, it makes you seem mad. It makes you seem butthurt, right? right? And there's nothing attractive about being a butthurt guy, right? The guy who's like passive aggressive and butthurt, he's, not, he's still a needy guy, right? right? That's not attractive. The way to do no contact the right way is a, a form where it's more of a term that Chris and I tell clients, it's not don't contact her, it's be different. A term that we use is be politely indifferent towards her. Right, so you're not ignoring, you're being polite, but you're just not as excited, you're not putting in as much effort. Maybe you're ending things first, maybe that's something you didn't that, do, yeah. like she contacts you. And listen, before this happened, if she contacted you, you would text her till two in the morning. If you guys went on a date, you would be happy if that date went on all week. You would never end things first. If you give her the opportunity to contact you and now display these more, you know, attractive behaviors, you're not going to put in as much effort as you did before. You're going to end things first. If you go by strictly no contact, you're not going to get a chance to get rid of those negative behaviors you had. You actually said something interesting to me before about how you have to get rid of the negative first. What was yeah, that about? Yeah, you got to limit. So let's just, I'll use an example, right? So I had a client recently that his girlfriend that he was living with ended things with him, broke up with him, wanted to move out. And you know, he had gone through some of our trainings and he said to me, Bobby, I got to do the no, I, I got to do the blackout, the no contact. And he said to me, he was confused because he goes, but she's like contacting me. We have leases. We got to like, there's all mm -hmm. this like logistical stuff that I have to deal with. How do I ignore her? Mm -hmm. And I go, first off, don't ignore her because you kind of know what you did wrong, right? You kind of know the mistakes you made that caused her to lose interest. And one of the first things you have to do is you have to kind of show her that I'm not that needy you know, guy, right? A lot of times that a woman loses interest in you, it's because you're coming on too strong, you're needy, you're seeking her approval, you're doing all these sort of low value things. And one of the first things you're do you need to do is, is sort of, I call it like get back to break even, right? You, if, if you were here and here at, when, when things were going good and then all of a sudden you're here, well, at the, from this point, there's not much you can do in terms of attracting her, right? You're not gonna start flirting with her. You gotta kind of get here. So during the, the no contact, what I told them is, it's not about ignoring her, it's about not being needy, not seeking her approval. And how you do that is you treat her the way that, let's say a girl, we've all been in the situation where a girl wasn't interested in us, but she was being nice to us. But you kind of know, like, or like she doesn't make any effort to keep the conversation going. During no contact, that's your attitude. If you're going to respond once in a while, you can respond, but you're not, if she says, hey, how's your day go and what are you up to? You can, you can answer the question, but you're not going to try to keep the conversation going. And if she writes you back more, you're not going to keep going. You're going to kind of yeah. end it so that she's going to like, you, you answered it. So it doesn't seem like you're ignoring her, like a man guy who's like mad at her and upset. Right. But you're also just not needy to keep that that going. You could even call it, I don't know if I want to call it this, but no initiation. Like you really shouldn't be initiating anything. That should kind of be off the table. But when it comes to effort, you're going to put in a lot less effort when there is some kind of communication and you're going to try to end things first. And that's something you weren't doing before. That displays to her that your neediness is now being taken care of. And then on top of that, you can add the attractive behaviors. But the point we're trying to say is try to get rid of those negative things first and then layer on the more attractive things next. Yeah, so, and, and just to reiterate, um, if you do see her at work or at a social scene type of thing, keep this in your mind, polite indifference. Treat her the way you would treat the woman at work who like you have no interest in, but you're not mean to her. You're gonna talk to her, hey, how's it going? How's your week? And then you're gonna like, you're gonna give that vibe, like I wanna go be talking to somebody else, right? And she's gonna pick up on it. And that in a lot of ways is way more powerful than you when she comes over to talk to you and you're like, like you turn, Gotta go. <laughs> then it's like, oh, this guy is still, still upset, right? right. Instead, it's, it's that attitude, polite indifference. Let her see that she doesn't have that control over you, right? That's really big is a woman knowing like, oh, this guy wants me so bad or he's so into me and I don't know if I'm in, like him that much. Just let her see like, oh, he's not as into me as he used to be. Like that alone is, is, right. is good. So let's move into the... Uh, the, the, the next of the uh, no contact rules. And, and I'll yeah, this, you, is, yeah. this is interesting. Well, you were bringing it up to me before how, and it kind of ties in with number two, 
there's two kind of mysteries that could be going on here, right? One is you just disappeared, okay? You are gone. Okay, where did he go? What's he doing? That's kind of a mystery. It's kind of, okay, I'm confused. But there's even more, we want to say the word confusion or more mystery, when you're still around, but they don't quite understand why you're acting differently. You were telling me about that. Why is that more powerful? Well, it's like the more space you occupy in her mind, the better. That's sort of a hallmark of, of, of things that, that we teach, right? The more she's thinking about you, the better. Well, if, if you don't answer her, her messages for a few times, in her mind, she's going to tick the box, angry at me, upset. Mm -hmm. She may even go, oh, he moved on. He, he's not into me anymore. You may even think no contact. I hate to throw that out there, but because this is such a popular thing, there's probably a slight chance she goes, oh, he's doing the no contact yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. She Just throwing go. it out there. <laughs> and it, it, it's very well, right? No, Because we know, like, I've been in situations where I've been the, the dumper, right? I've been the one breaking up with a girl and then she's not like contacting me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of know, and you always know because eventually when she does contact you, again, it's like, she's like her normal self and you're like, oh, she was just doing that. Right, and like, yeah. and we, we make that same mistake, right? We try to do the no contact, but then we get in front of her where we, she finally do, do, do answer her call. And you're just the same old person, and she kind of knows, oh, he was using the, the no contact, right? Right. Chris said it. They, they kind of know. Like it's, it's not like this unknown not secret, secret technique, right? <laughs> it's kind of a, 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 you know, a dating game 101. Don't contact <laughs> after the breakup right. or after that, right? So um, by doing it differently, you're, you're keeping that confusion there. And confusion is huge when it comes to attraction, right? It's huge to anything, right? If you look at like TV shows, I always think back of, of the TV show Lost, right? There was a point years ago where I was like obsessed with that show because you never knew what was going on. Like every episode would end and it would be like, was, was this, are they time traveling, are they this? And you, you, you're, you're hooked on it. If right away they knew, you knew right going in, okay, this is a dream and they're in the middle, like you don't have that things to ponder. Right. So with the no contact, if you're sort of confusing about your no contact, it leaves her way more to ponder. Yeah, I, I, I love this way, way better. I got to tell you, then the strict no contact, I, I, like, I like everything about it. It's more of a mystery. She doesn't think you're upset. You get to display, it gives you a platform to display non-needy behaviors. It gets her thinking, it gets her wondering. I love these little tweaks to the no contact uh, rule there. Yeah, I'll give you an example because I know some guys, well, what do you mean by that? So an example that I always tell clients, and this one, thank me for this one later, right? If you're using a no contact, let's just say, your ex calls you up, right? The old way of doing it is like, don't answer the phone, right? Well, then you don't answer the <laughs> phone. She, she, he, oh, he's not calling me, right? Oh, he's, he's not answering. Oh, he's still mad that I, I broke up with him, right? right. Um, what I tell guys is answer the phone. Be like, hey, what's up? Like totally like you normally would have, right? Answer the phone for, for, and talk to her for like a minute. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's going on? And then go, hey, listen, you know, I was actually just in the middle of something. Can I call you back in like five minutes? And then just don't call her back, right? right? Because what'll happen is, at first, she'll get that relief. Oh, oh, things are normal. Things are normal okay, yeah. things are normal. He's, and then like like you know, an hour will go by, and she's like, oh, he hasn't. So you know, like hit her, like oh, he hasn't called back. Okay, he's probably he's probably still finishing up, right? Then two hours, three hours, and like later on, she'll be about to go to bed, and and then she'll be like looking at the phone, looking. He never called. Like what's going on, right? right. And now her mind is like because you were nice on the phone, you were talking, so now she's gonna go. Did his new girlfriend show up and now exactly. he's with her? Like, her mind is spinning. Her yeah. mind is spinning. And that is way more um, likely to bring her back than her going, he's angry, so he's not answering my phone call. And the key is you're not doing anything mean. I want to stress that. Again, it's polite indifference. This isn't mean stuff. If you're thinking, Chris, Bobby, that sounds mean. I'm not going to call her back. This is a girl that broke up with you. What do you mean? You don't have to call her back. Yeah. You guys aren't an item. There's no thing that says you have to call her back. You were polite on the phone. You answered the phone. But that extra thing, you didn't call her back. I'll just throw this out real quickly. When it goes bad, when you do go to the mean side and not polite indifference, I had a girl I was dating and I made the mistake. I was kind of doing this. She made me mad and I hung up the phone on her. I gave her an excuse to be mad at me, to end things. You don't do that. That's being mean. That's being rude. You never go into that territory and do something like that. You keep it polite. You keep it indifferent. Yeah, and I want to back up to one last point, right? And this goes to more of the friend zone type thing, right? And it could be an ex who says, hey, listen, I still want to be friends with you, right? Or it could just be a girl that you went on a couple dates with and she's like, oh, uh, you know, I don't feel the chemistry, but I do like you. I want to be friends, right? And 
Chris and I get this all the time when clients hire us and they go, she said that she wants to be friends with us. And I told her, I don't, no. I'm not, I don't want to be friends. I have enough female friends. And they, they say it to us like they're proud. And Tough I go, guys. Like, and I go, well, you know, you, you're actually, you're actually kicking yourself in the foot because the one thing, I, like the, out of the hundreds of, 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 of clients hitting us up, you know, on a, on a, on a monthly basis for, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? And I examine their, their, their intake form of whether or not I think we're a good fit. The number one thing that lets me know whether or not I can turn the situation around is access. Access. You need Do you access. have access to her? Yeah. Right? The minute you don't have access to her, it's very hard to, to turn things around. Being in the friend zone with a girl, being friends with her, it gives you access. It gives you an amazing amount of access to her to then transition it, right? And if you want to know how to transition it, Chris and I have a special class called become the friend she falls in love with, where we show you, and this is a completely free free class. I'll put a link to it below for, for those of you interested, right? Because in this class, what we show you is that you made a lot of mistakes, right? That we, we talked about that caused her to maybe put you in the friend zone. A lot of times it's that you didn't act fast enough, right? You you didn't capitalize on, on things. Maybe she liked you for a little bit. Other times it's just you, you showed too much interest, right? When you're in the friend zone and you act like you're okay with it, but you're subtly doing all this sort of stuff, subtly building the attraction, subtly reversing all the things. She doesn't know what's going on. You have amazing amount of accidents. It's actually the biggest advantage you can have with a woman is actually being in the friend zone. So if that's a situation you're in, there's a girl that you're, you're, you're you know, an ex-girlfriend that you're kind of friends with and female friend from your work, any of those, highly recommend a class where Chris is going to walk you through his uh, three steps to transition from being her friend to being the friend she falls in love with. So, yeah, guys, it's it's so super easy. Please check out this class. It is so it can turn things around so fast. That's why we like it. Three simple rules. This isn't complicated. It actually becomes really fun when you could have girls around as friends that you're seeing, but you could also take it to that relationship level easily. I love it. Yep. So leave us a comment below. Let us know what else you would like to see us cover. Sign up for the free Friend She Falls In Love With class, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we've got a lot of amazing videos coming for you.